Hello everyone, welcome back to the Motor Yard Rampage versus the Steamrollers. This is going to be the first two games these two teams will face off here. Jet Check on the mound today for the Rampage, and Bud Benetti gets the start for the Steamrollers. The center fielder, number three. And the Shadows, maybe they'll play into this today. Real tough to probably see that ball out of Benetti's hands. Parsons leads it off here for the Rampage. He's juiced. Had a pretty good season, too. Hit 310. That's hit to Rocket. He dives, makes a stop, but no chance to get the speedy Parsons. So Rampage have a runner on with very good speed at first. And Kellen Webb steps in. Left fielder. Runner goes. And oh, look at that. Nice diving double play there. Annika Proctor. Just like that, two outs. And Sparks steps in and fouls one off at home plate. Grounded to Madden. Across the diamond for the third out. We'll get to Bud Benetti next inning. Now we go to the bottom of the first. And Dozen Rolls leads it off for the Steamrollers. Dozen rolls is also juiced. Quickly 0-2 now on dozen rolls. Ball. There's a ball. That's inside. Two and two now. And grounded to Payne. Across the diamond for the first out. That brings up Chuck Rockett, who's juiced as well. And that is our Cheese League mascot. Cooper in the background. Oh, it's fouled down the left field line. And again, fouled away. One and two on Rocket. Fouled away over the steamroller's dugout. There's a ball. Two and two now. And got him. So check. Strikes out Rocket. For the second out of the inning. Kirk Johnston steps in. Let's take a look here quick at check. Well, maybe we'll have to wait till next inning. That one's grounded to Gilmore for the final out. So go down to the top of the second, four, five, and six do up for the rampage. Miles Pruitt leads it off this inning. Now let's take a look here at Bud Benetti. Four seamer, two seamer. Slider, curveball, change. Ball, More of a junk pitcher than an accuracy pitcher, but pretty good on the velocity meter there. 2-2 two, two now to Pruitt, and full count. And punches him out. Pitch in the outside corner. Brings up Kyan Baker. Baker fouls that one down the left field. Broken bat, shattered bat to Rockette for the second out of the inning. That brings up Micah Gilmore. Steady hand at second base for the Rampage. Gilmore hoping that he would have a better season at the plate, though. The count goes to two and one. Ball, that's up. And to three and one now. Take your base. And he's walked. Gilmore walks. That right brings up leader, Dallas McFreddy. Two outs and a runner on first. Go high. Ball outside. Two and oh. There's a strike. 97 on the gun there from Benetti. Grounded right up the middle. So base hit here. We've got two runners on. Now batting, the first Valentino base Chang base steps in. 29. First baseman here today for the Rampage. And the number eight hitter. No, that's high. One and one the count. Popped up a mile high. Johnston is there to put it away for the final out of the inning. 
So the Rampage leave a pair of runners stranded. We go to the bottom of the second. Part of the order due up now for the home team steamrollers. Annika Proctor steps in. She is juiced. And taps one lightly to Chang for the first out. That brings up Hudson, Hudson Hopkins. Let's take a look here at Check. Four seamer slider. Curveball change, two seamer. Pretty much the same setup here as Bud Benetti just from the left side. That one's grounded. The sparks it short. And there's out number two. That brings up Shepard Pace. Pace having a pretty good season here for the steamrollers. Hitting 310. No homers, only two RBIs though. And fouls that one off to the right side. One and two count on Shepard Pace. And looks at a ball low, two and two. Grounded right back to check for the final out of the inning. A little uh, pitcher's duel brewing here between check and Benetti. Right now at the top of the third, nine, one and two up for the Rampage. Wayne Payne is playing third base today for the Rampage. Two one now to Payne. There's a ball outside. There's a strike. And he works back. Delivery. And he walks him. So Benetti walks him. And that brings up Parsons, who's one for one today in the top of the order. Good breaking pitch, had him way out in front. And there's a ball on the inside. Part of the plate. And again, 2-1 to Parsons. Ooh. I fooled him on that one. 2-2 two and two now. And that one gets away from best behind home plate. The runner advances. And got him, chasing. Outside in that big looping curveball. So one out now. Webb steps in with a runner on second. And that one's nubbed. And uh, Benetti reached for it, kind of missed it there. I thought they weren't going to get him, but they do. So two outs now. That brings up Sparks, who's 0 for 1 today. Runner advances the third. That one's popped up. Does Best have enough room? He does. There's the third out. So the Rampage, leave a runner on. Go to the bottom of the third. Brings up Banjo Crane who hits one. Very high, very far, and gone. Four hundred and six feet to right field. Banjo Crane is second homer and eighth RBI of the season. The steamrollers take the one nothing lead. That brings up Xerox Madden. That one's hard hit up the middle. Maybe these rollers hitters are starting to get to check. That brings up top of the, oh no, I apologize, not top of the order. That's Kai Best, he's the number nine hitter. And he looks at a strike. That one's just dying out there in shallow left field. So Best drops one in, and that brings up Dozen Rolls, who's 0 for 1 today with no outs and runners on second, uh, first and second. The ball inside. Dozen, Dozen Rolls is juiced, don't forget. There's a big healthy cut there, 1 and 2. K-Man activated for check. Good look there from Dozen Rolls, 2 and 2. That one's fouled away. Popped up, infield, infield fly. fly is called. He's out. Sparks put it away for the first out of the inning. And Rockette steps in, who's 0 for 1. Now we'll make note here, the Rampage are 8 and 7, the Steamrollers are 5 and 9. Both teams represent the Cheddar League, or the Cheddar Division. 
one and one to Rocket. Rampage have a one game lead over the Grazers. Steamrollers are two and a half games back. That one's hit quite well into center field. And oh, Parsons with a nice diving catch. Runner goes to third. Oh wow, what a heck of a catch there from Cash Parsons at center. So now it's two outs, runners in the corners, and Johnston steps in. That's out. That's low. Three no to Johnston, and he's walked. So check walks the bases loaded. Brings up Annika Proctor, dangerous Annika Proctor. She's juiced, hitting 314, two homers and six RBIs this season. And a little hanging breaking ball. She gets way under it, pops it up. And Check is there to put it away for the final out. The Rollers lead the bases road loaded, but they get one run. We go to the fourth inning now. Four, five, and six do up for the Rampage. And it kind of looked like the Rollers hitters were getting to Check that inning, so. Let's see how that progresses no, throughout the game. 3 0 now to Pruitt. And Benetti grooves a strike in there. 3 and 1. So Pruitt lines that one to pace for the first out. Now batting the batter, number 43. That brings up Kyan Baker. He's 0 for 1 today. Pops that up. Best. Camps under it. For out number two. Now the second baseman, number 14. And Micah Gilmore steps in. Grounded to Proctor. She hustles over and takes care of that herself for the final out of the inning. And go down to the bottom of the fourth. Five, six, and seven do up for the home team rollers. No, inside. Despite that rough inning, Check Outside. looks pretty good. No real movement on his stats. He's at 50 pitches right now. And there's a strike. 3-1 to Hopkins. And now full count. K-Man is activated. And that one's fouled away. Back toward the booth. Ball four. So Check walks him. We got a runner on first, and Shepard Pace steps in. Looks at a strike. That's down. Ball, Ooh. that's inside. Pace shows bunt. Pulls back though. Ball. Now three and up, uh, three and one. I apologize. Take your base. And Pace is walked, so two straight walks from Check, and that brings up Banjo Crane, who had a homer his last time up. No outs, runners on first and second. Ball inside. Runners go. Get a little hit and run action here. And there's strike two. One and two now on Crane. Ball outside. Ball outside. I think the Rampage bench wanted that one. That one's hit past the diving Gilmore. McFreddy fields it, fires to third for some reason. Run scores, and we're going to have a pitching change. Simon comes in, and he's been lights out for the Rampage pretty much all season. Steamrollers with a 2-0 lead now is no outs and runners on first and second. That one's popped up. Gilmore runs over and takes that for the first out. Kai Best steps in now. He's one for one today. Grounded to Gilmore, see if they can turn two to Sparks. To Chang for the double play. Rollers leave some runners on base. Nonetheless, they get a run here. They lead it 2 nothing. They go to the top of the fifth. And Dallas McFreddy leads it off for the Rampage. Let's do a little check here on Benetti. No real movement on his stats. 57 pitches now, and he strikes him out. 
So Benetti looking locked in right now as Chang steps up to the plate. Looks at a strike high inside. That's fell off in front of the rollers dugout. Tapped to Rocket for the second out. Brings up Wayne Payne. Two outs here in the top of the fifth. And Payne is the backup third baseman. 2-1. That one's popped up, and Proctor's running back and catches that one in foul territory for the final out of the inning. So Rampage go down in order. We get a nice little view there of the motor yard. And that brings up a dozen rolls in the top of the order for the steamrollers. And Simon is in from the bullpen, working away here. Check out roughed around a little bit. 3-1 now to dozen rolls, and he's walked him. So Simon walks dozen rolls to lead off the inning. That brings up Rockette, who's 0 for 2, but dozen rolls runs very well there at first base. And the rollers do like to run. That's inside. No, that's high. Three and zero oh to Rockette. Take your base. And four straight balls from Simon. This is kind of uncharacteristic of him. And they check on dozen rolls. Gets back in there safely. As Kurt Johnston steps in now. Double steal action. Maybe a little hit and run too. McFreddy catches that for the first out in shallow right field. Let's see if they throw in a double steal again. Zanica Proctor steps in. They do throw, pitch out. He's, he's done. He's dead meat down there at third base. Oh, they plunk Proctor. So now there's runners on first and second, two outs. Hopkins steps in. And double steal again. Throw down, safe. So that time it worked. And Simon walks the bases loaded here. And that brings up Shepard Pace. And we're going to have a pitching change. So Frazier's coming in in relief of Simon. Like I said, Simon has been pretty lights out for the rampage here. That one short hops into Webb's glove. Run scores. It's an RBI base hit. And the steamrollers take the 3-0 lead. Banjo Crane steps in with the bases loaded. Two outs here in the bottom of the fifth. Inside. The 1-2 now on Crane. That's hit quite well. Out into right center field. Off the big wall. Once <laughs> one run scores. Two runs come home. And it's a bases clearing double for Banjo Crane. The steamrollers lead at 6-0. Xerox Madden looks at a strike. It's grounded past the diving. Frazier, Gilmore's there to get it for the final out. So four run fifth inning here for the Steamrollers. They lead at six nothing as we go to the sixth inning. Cash Parsons steps in, he's one for two today. That one is grounded to pace, across the diamond, no chance there. Parsons runs quite well and you can hear our Cheese League mascot in the background, Cooper. And now we're going to have a pitching change. Nixon's coming in in a relief of Benetti. With very, very good speed on the bases here for the Rampage. He got quite the mountain to climb, though. Grounded just past pace. That's short there. And just like that, the Rampage have 
couple runners on for Lucian Sparks, who's 0 for 2 today. I thought Ben Eddy was pitching quite well. Really no movement on his stats. That one's hit. That is for sure an extra base hit off the big wall out there in right center field. One run comes home. They're sending the second one. Rockette throws. Safe. It's an RBI double here. Now the Rampage are on the board. Miles Pruitt steps in. No outs, runner on second. That's fouled away. We'll have to see what the Rollers manager was thinking. Pulling the netty so early. I thought he was going to for sure complete this game. Two and two now on Pruitt. And that one's past the diving pace. And doesn't roll, snags it. Runner holds it third. So now we have runners on the corners. Kyan Baker steps in. No outs. That one's hit very well. And that's going to be very gone. That hit off the brick wall in the back. 448 foot shot. Kyan Baker's first homer in six RBI of the year. The lead is cut. 6 5 now. Micah Gilmore steps in. And Nixon's looking rattled. And that one's popped up. Dozen rolls gets there for the first out of the inning. This is a long, ugly inning. Rollers pitching staff. Freddie hits that one. Nice. Leaping catch there by Chuck Rockett for the second out. That brings up Chang now. And one and one. And the two one now to Chang. Nixon gets him to foul that one away. That one's popped up and Best is right there. He camps under it. Puts it away for the final out, but the damage is done. Rampage with the five runs, top of the sixth. Steamrollers still lead at 6-5. Nine, one, and two do up this inning for these Steamrollers. And one and two on best. And got him. Nice high cheese on the inside part of the plate from Frazier. Jericho doesn't roll steps, and he's 0 for 2 despite being juiced. There's a ball. And, ooh, got him golfing on that one. Grounded to Sparks. Cross the diamond for the second out. Rockette steps in. He's 0 for 2 as well, he, even though he's juiced. And looks at two balls. And there's a strike. Two and one now on Rocket. And, ooh, right off of Payne's glove. Fires across the diamond for the third out. Nine, one, and two do up here for the Rampage. Payne, Parsons, and Webb. Let's see if the Steamrollers can lock this one down. And Yeah, we're going to have Clementine Silva, the Rollers' closer, come in. Hopefully lock this one in. It's a grounder, right to Rocket. First out. Now back, the center fielder, number three. Parsons steps in. He's having a good game. Two for three, two singles. Oh and two on Parsons. And fouls that one away. Shatter bat, foul ball. There's a ball in the dirt. Try to get him to chase. One and two. Grounded. Through the right side. Base hit. We haven't seen Silva too much this year out of the closer role for the steamrollers. Let's see her ERA is quite elevated there. 18. So he hasn't had many save opportunities. Rollers have 
had a rough season as Kellen Webb steps in now and they check on the runner. There's a high strike, one and one now on Webb. And another strike, one and two. And got him. Silva got him looking. Good placement on those pitches. Now two outs, Lucian Sparks steps in. Rampage are down to their final out. Nope, that's inside. Two one on Sparks. A throw over. Again. Slides in safely. Runner goes. And safe. Best with a bit of a high throw there. That one's grounded to Proctor. She hustles over, takes it herself, and that's the ball game, folks. Steamrollers win, despite the Rampage making quite the effort. Made it a little interesting there, did they? Take a look at the lines here. 5, 8, and 0 oh for the Rampage. 6, 6, and 0 oh for the Steamrollers. That five-run sixth inning. That did make it quite interesting. <laughs> Take a look here at the offense. Parsons, three for four, had a great game. Webb, Sparks, Pruitt, Baker, all, and uh, McFreddy all had a hit there for the Rampage. The RBI is coming from Baker and Sparks. On the roller side, all the hitting was from the bottom part of the order. Pace, Crane had a good game, three for three. Five RBIs, boy did he have a heck of a game. <laughs> And then Madden and Best also had some hits. The top of the order not doing much there, despite those juice players again. It hasn't really factored into any games thus far. Maybe with the exception of a, the fouls, maybe. Benetti gets the win. He pitched quite well. I'm surprised they didn't leave him in. It's his first win of the season. He was 0-3. So... Steamrollers fans really like seeing that. He had three strikeouts. Nixon got roughed around a little bit. Four earned runs there. Silva gets the save, her first of the year. And Check gets a loss, his second loss of the year. His ERA did not really improve that much. Let's take a look at the top three players now. Banjo Crane, three for three, a homer, a double, five RBIs in a run. Have yourself a game there, Banjo Crane. Kyan Baker also, one for three, a homer, three RBIs in a run, and Lucian Sparks gets the nod there, one for four, a double, two RBIs in a run as well. That's how game number 79 ends up here, folks. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this game, please give it a thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe to Cheese here on YouTube. That's where you get all of your Cheese League baseball games. Follow us on Twitter at Geek underscore Cheese. That's where you'll find all of your Geek Cheese and Cheese League Baseball announcements, schedules, and stats, and yada, yada, yada. But that's how it ends up here, folks. That'll do it for us today. Game 79 in the books. Rollers win. Have a good one. Bye.